Welcome to GIX 911, where we give you the truth and facts that will get you results. Join your host, GIX, a former U.S. Army veteran, proudly serving his fellow brothers and sisters in arms with the information they need that will set them free. Join him as he goes into details on what you need to know before joining the U.S. military and what you need to know before exiting. Let's get this party started. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks again for tuning into the Gix 911 show. I'm your host, Gix. And today I'm going to be talking about meals ready to eat. Meals ready to eat. Now, how many of you out there have had an MRE, loved it, had the best time of your life eating it? Like it's like no other. It's like no other. I mean, it goes down. It's delicious. It's delicious. I'm not going to say it's not, but you always want to do a little bit of research before consuming foods. I've always did that. I mean, I can't say that when I was in the military I did that. I was young. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just going off what the people told me. Oh, they're great. You can eat this and not have to go to the bathroom for two days. Man, when you're in the field, it's wonderful. It's lovely. And that's a good thing to hear. I mean, who wants to go to the bathroom when they are on an FTX or any kind of training exercise? So I went back and I did a little bit of research. And this is years after I've been out. I've been out for quite some time now. And um, I'm just kind of like going over it and looking at some of the things that were in it. Okay. And um, it's a really good source of fuel. Um, a lot of carbs, but the only downside to MREs, it's it's processed. There's a lot of preservatives in MREs, and that in some cases may cause issues to your digestive system, okay? So I was just kind of looking around, and I came across this article here, and it just talked a little bit more about the MRE and some of the things that you should know and what happens when you eat the MRE. So I was just reading here, and it says, according to the Army, MREs are meant to be used for up to 21 days. Now, I scratched my head on this, and I was like, hmm, just used for 21 days, but they have a shelf life for of years. So I did a little bit more reading, and of course... The longer you live on MREs, the worse state your gut floor will be in. So that's the bacteria, the good bacteria that's in your stomach that helps you break down your foods and helps you keep helps keeps your colon, your intestinal tract healthy. OK, and that's why the army aims for a 21 day limit. Even after the length of time, you're likely to suffer some digestive problems when you move back on more normal foods. So basically, p soldiers that are on this for an extended period of time do suffer issues there's constipation and once that constipation passes then you have bouts of diarrhea and and all kind of other issues that come up but i just was looking at this and i want to kind of put this out there for any personnel or any anybody that's thinking about joining the military or going into the military services these are the things that you're going to be consuming while you're in so you definitely want to have an understanding of that that's also something that you want to ask your recruiter when you're going in what types of food that am i going to be eating what do i expect so a lot of the times we have a tendency to ask the recruiter what do i what am i going to expect but then you have to go a little bit more in detail, like what types of foods am I going to be eating? Because that's definitely something you want to know. It's definitely something you want to know because you're going to be putting this into your body when you go on field training exercises. OK, so, you know, do your research, look around. And I, I did a little bit more digging. And of course, uh, if you overeat the MREs, if you eat it too long, it can cause bouts of high blood pressure. The MREs are not that high in fiber, which is very important for your your um, your colon. And um, they also cause high blood pressure, but more uh, more serious things uh, can come from eating MRAs, and that's certain types of cancers like colon cancer. So be aware of that, okay? Be aware of that, understand the things that you're consuming, and you will be better off. And if you are having any kind of digestive issues or things that are going on that are abnormal, that you're not normal for you, go to sick call, go to the doctor, schedule an appointment, don't wait don't think that it'll get better don't think that it'll pass because things can come up later on in your life it could be 10 15 20 years later and you can be suffering from something that may have transpired while you were in the service so definitely take notice of that put it as a priority in your life and once you're in you will know what to look for and what to look out for okay so again here's the emory list here i'll put the uh link in the description here and uh, you can look at it. I mean, it's a pretty decent list and I'm not pushing it and saying, hey, you should, you know, but it's just to show you 
there are some good foods in there and they are tempting and i think that's what a lot of the time people soldiers look at they look at the menu and they look at oh look at this it's got chili and it's very enticing but there's a lot of preservatives in this food so be very careful high in sodium can cause high blood pressure and can also cause certain types of cancers such as colon cancer which is something you definitely do not want to get okay you definitely don't want to get colon cancer and in, in these days and times i believe uh people are coming up with it a lot earlier a lot earlier so uh, again do your homework make sure that you understand what you're getting into when you go into the service and also for people that are out there camping and all that it's for everybody everybody needs to understand the foods and the effects they have on your body especially ones that are preser uh, that have a lot of preservatives in it so anyway just wanted to do this short uh little video here and f for all you that have not subscribed to my uh, podcast or my YouTube channel, please do so. And if you found this video uh, a little bit more informative or something that you can use, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, that's it. So uh, thanks again for joining me on the Gix 911 show. I'm your host, Gix. Until next time, peace, love, and harmony in 2019. I'm out. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor integrity personal courage do you have what it takes to serve with the best tune in and get the information you have been searching for all over the web do you have questions on how to file a va claim what you should know while you're serving in the u.s military or just want to know about the lifestyle tune in to get the real deal